Solver's industry-leading corporate performance management solution utilizes Tableau's Web Data Connector to access key management data from Solver's data warehouse for enhanced analytics and visualization capabilities. In this Tableau workbook, we've used connections to Solver general ledger and revenue data to create an income statement, KPIs, a year-to-date operating expense activity analysis, and a revenue analysis dashboard. However, we now have a new request from our sales team who would like to be able to view total monthly sales by state for better analysis. To demonstrate how easily this can be accomplished, let's start the setup process entirely from scratch. Before we can create our new sales by state visualization, we first need to connect Tableau to our sales data within the Solver Data Warehouse. Within Tableau, we will select Data and then New Data Source. Under More, we are going to search for a Web Data Connector. Here, we simply enter our Solver Web Data Connector URL. Once entered, we will be prompted to enter the unique connection information for your Solver Cloud tenant. To access this connection information, open the Solver Web Portal, navigate to Data Warehouse, Configuration, and then to API. From here, we can view the URL and access token needed to complete our connection, as well as choose what types of data, such as general ledger, sales, or anything else we want to have access to when we create our Tableau visualization. From the upper right-hand corner, under the Actions icon, we can simply select the URL in our access token, which will copy automatically, and then paste it into the prompted fields, select Authenticate and Connect. As we connect, the process will execute a query and take us to the Data Source tab, where we can select the data we want to work with. In our case, we see dimensions and modules we enabled from our Solver Data Warehouse. Here, we want to work with sales, so we're going to grab our revenue module and drop that into the selection area. Then, we can apply the dimensions that we also want to be able to use in our report and set those relationships. Here, we want to see customer, so we can drag it in. The link to the revenue data customer field is located, so it automatically creates that relationship for us. We can do the same thing with period, and finally with product. When we drag in product, it's unable to automatically determine the relationship and asks for help. So from our module, we can confirm which field we want to map to the product dimension. Once that looks good, we can confirm and we select OK. We can preview the data to ensure we have what we need by viewing the first thousand records. If necessary, we can make additional updates like renaming fields or creating calculated fields to use in our reports. Since everything looks good, let's select a new worksheet and start our analysis. Once we make that selection, the extract is created and information loaded from the revenues module and the three dimension tables we selected, which we can see in the upper left-hand corner of our data tab. We can also right-click and rename it so it's easily recognizable. In this case, let's give it the friendly name of Solver Sales. Next, we can start to create our visualization of U.S. sales by state. Let's start by changing the tab name, U.S. Sales by State. Let's change our mark to map, and then apply our longitude to column and our latitude to rows. Since this is a U.S. only report, we can add a filter to capture our U.S.-based customer sales. To see our state-by-state -state breakdown, we can drag and drop the state field into detail, and our form updates with the applied filters and settings. Within our map, we want to see sales for the current period only, which we can quickly apply by creating a calculated field, which we will call current sales. To do this, we are going to create an if statement, like we would use in Excel, stating if the fiscal year period equals the current month, then we want to see the extended price, otherwise return no values. As we create this calculation, there is a validation at the bottom that confirms everything is valid, so we can then hit OK to finalize. Now that we've created the new measure for current period sales, we can drag and drop it into colors to see it displayed on the map. 
Here we can visually see which states had no sales, some sales, and the most sales as represented by the deeper colors. To make this dynamic, we can add a parameter to select the current period. Once this has been added, we can switch the period selection to validate that things change as we select different months. Now, let's add this to our existing revenue dashboard. Here, we'll locate the sheet we want to utilize, grab the horizontal object, and drag it into the lower section of the report. We can adjust the formatting, such as making it wider and adjusting the layout. We can refine this even more by going to our parameter selection box and floating it, which allows us to drag it on top of our map. Now that we've added our new visualization to our dashboard, we can make it available to other users for viewing and to interact with so that they can explore the data on their own. With Solver and Tableau, users can gain powerful insights into their organization for deeper analysis and better decision making.